raining, how am I gonna stay dry? A perfect time to wear the new Check Yourself Windbreaker, fully repellent of water. Oh, I ain't gonna wait. <laughs> All right, for today, we are going to show you how to install light bars as your lights on pop-ups. So this could work on a 240 Miata MR2 3000 GT. I forget what all has pop-up lights, all headlights, but it's fairly simple. Yesterday, we did troubleshooting, make sure that we can install it properly. And from there, I'm going to do it like a step-by-step -step on how to do it. So. All right, so for today's installation, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter, some pliers, some vice grips, screwdriver dikes, electrical tape, wire. I'm, today we're using 14 gauge, a circular saw, as well as your aux beam um, light beams that come with mounting, a mounting bracket and some screws and bolts. So this is basically all you need and also a tray to catch all your loose bolts or your old bolts that we're not gonna use. So just to save them, just in case if you ever wanna go back to OEM. First step is to remove all your old headlights. So let's jump right into it. For a 240, you got two bolts there. The cover will come off. You got uh, four bolts to take this bad boy off. And then you, from there, I two or three, two screws and a spring to pop out your headlight. Sometimes the whole work smarter thing doesn't click in for a little bit. These little set screws that adjust the position of the lamp, you just want to take them all out. Spring will release your lamp and now you get to get started on mounting. Alright, next you want to uh, drill a hole directly in the middle of the top of your bracket. That way you can mount your aux beam, light beam onto this bad boy and get started. Alright, we used the 5 16 drill bit and the bolt fits in perfect. I just dropped it. So we're going to mock up the headlight, get everything situated, do a preliminary bolt in and then start wiring it to the car. Basically wiring is very, very simple and there's an easy way to just run aground and get direct power from your OEM plug and secure it and be good. So for assembly for the actual light fixtures itself, it's really easy. It has a nut inside a, tr um, a track. Basically you just mount the bracket to that nut right there. Just want to make sure you use the crush washer and just get it somewhat mocked up. Uh, for this, I pushed it all the way back. Next, you pretty much take the bracket and position it in the middle. I don't tighten everything until everything's wired in and tested. So, here we go. Just gonna go right to the bolt. All right, get everything kind of situated, somewhat in the middle, and use a 14 mil and tighten it down. Now that it's somewhat bolted in, you kind of want to bend the bracket just a hair. You want to bend it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Tighten down those bolts, you'll need a 14 for this one to go onto the, the light beam and a thir 13 and a 14 for the nut and bolt. All right, next is you pretty much have a simple power and ground. You want to ground the ground to a chassis. So you, I, I like to run it into the car because if you ground it to this headlight bracket, when it moves, the ground can be inconsistent. So I always grab a little bit of extra wire, cut her, on, cut her down, put a butt connector, whatever you have, splice her in, and uh, get a solid ground on the chassis itself. I don't like using butt connectors, but it's all I have right now. So maybe down the road we'll, 
We'll tighten that up, bad boy. All right, so I just ran the wiring. I'm just gonna show you exactly what I did before um, putting it on. So basically, you got two wires. You got your power and ground. I extended the ground. I usually run it behind this tray, like this little plastic piece, and then put it on to one of these chassis bolts, depending on whatever is clean, whatever is available, etc. You can do a lot, but don't. Um, I was having issues with putting it on here because this goes back and forth and is inconsistent so and then your power wire will run to the bottom out of these three for your OEM plug you should plug it into the bottom connector that's where your constant comes on when you put this or the signal comes on when you flip your switch we're gonna go do it right now and see what's good holy bright holy bright Holy bride, holy bride. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. Make sure this is snug in there that's not gonna fall out. Constant power wire is what I'm talking about. And then from there, finagle all these other parts in here. A little trimming is necessary. You just gotta double, ch I'm gonna double check how much I need to trim. And then, uh, we'll keep on going, you know what I'm saying? You basically just need to trim a little bit out of your top. I guess uh, cover you want to basically cut right here follow it around and then go back down hopefully you can see that something I always forget to do and probably you should definitely do before so hopefully you watch this whole video before you actually do it a good thing to do is paint your brackets before you put your lights in so see how it's all see how it's all crusty there and all dirty over here is nice and black. Actually, it's kind of black, but uh, basically, I'm gonna plasti dip this because I I don't feel like taking everything off. So I'm gonna plasti dip all this stuff black. That way, if I also get overspray, I don't need to worry about it. So holla holla. All right. So basically, I just plasti dipped all in there. It doesn't have to be perfect because, as you can see, you can't really tell, but it helps it be in black. So that way, when you get that down to the crevices, you can see the black. Um, if I was you and watching this video, I'd take everything off prior and paint the whole bracket nice and clean. But me, I'm lazy and always forgetful, so yeah. Bye guys! Where are you going? Um, I want to Walmart. My dad. You going to Walmart? Yeah. Alright, you where's your jacket at? In the car. Alright, get it on. Love you. Okay. I'm almost done actually, so. I'm gonna clean my garage afterwards. Laying up, falling on my head. All right, cuts made, time to put back together. I'm just jamming out to some. And I genuinely believe the reason that I've popped over the last decade is I'm completely obsessed with giving more to my audience than I ask for in return. You feel me? guys that right there is it I am done everything's wired everything's mounted um, basically you just kind of finagle once you make those cuts it should fit perfect and um, from there you can bend your brackets kind of like to make it fit so if it doesn't fit just kind of give it or give her a yank Got a stripper in ah! looks good it's it, they kind of point down but they're so bright that it'll it'll reflect everywhere. So you just gotta play with it. If you gotta raise them up, just use your motors. Um, I'm super happy with them though. They came out pretty spectacular. And again, thank you to Oxbeam for sending me these. They're freaking awesome. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. I, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way they came out. They're perfect. Hey guys, if I skipped any steps, feel free to reach out to me via Instagram or in the comments below. Uh, of course, I'll be always ready to help you out. Um, it's actually really easy. Literally run ground, put a little mail connector, plug it into the OEM bottom port. That's what sends your signal. 
and then mount it up snug everything up make sure you do like a good job on cleaning everything and and fastening everything that right there that right there that right there dumb 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 all done holla at your boy it's it right now i'm gonna go clean i'm gonna clean this garage this garage is filthy i don't know i don't know what to do i i want to get rid of those boxes i don't know what to do with those seats they're in the way i got side skirts those side skirts will technically fit this car but it's all they're all cut up and there's only one of them so i just i mean i got so much crap in here i kind of want to clean it but i know we're in the middle of working so everything is always dirty when you're in the monks of working so holla at you guys yep if for anyone new that's just coming here just for that done feel free to do that dance all that dance stuff so yeah let me know how you guys make out um for the homies we're gonna continue let's just get rocking i don't think I think I'm just gonna clean up the garage, hang out with the fam squad, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, cleaned up the garage a bit. Next is to head inside. I think I'm gonna edit some of this video. I did the complete opposite as what I wanted to do and got no work done, but it's all good. I relaxed, watched some videos. I watched Taylor Ray and Jason Nash's videos. I always like to switch up. Like I, I watch the most random content. I don't know about you guys, but like I usually don't watch car, a lot of car content. I watch a lot of uh, random stuff fight stuff like U UFC um, Jason Nash like David Dobrik sometimes most of the time actually and then uh, that's what I watch Taylor Ray Adam LZ I watch like um, like car content where it's like mechanical stuff like I don't know if I would watch my yeah I would watch my own channel because my channel is not really about wrenching it's more so like about navigating and I don't know what do you what do, why do you guys watch my videos I wonder <laughs> <laughs> now thinking about it. Lone Star Drift, I love it. Oh, Chelsea Denofa, I've been watching. He's been putting a lot of content out lately. And uh, I think I've been watching like every single video he's put out so far. I'm working on that red E30 something. I, I don't know what those things are called. But we're heading out. And uh, that right there, no, no! Oh, I forgot to close my freaking garage. One of the, one of my subscribers lives down the street from me. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know if I met him first or he's a subscriber second, but he hit me up on Instagram. And he's like, hey man, I live down the street from you. And I'm like, oh, don't kill me. I found my favorite car scent from my two, my door card, my 240. This banger. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them, but this smells phenomenal. I always had them in my A86s. But, oh my, look at, look at me. Look at me. Look at me, guys. What are you doing? I just closed one door. I completely forgot to shut the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that forgetful. All right, guys. Oh, my gosh. Now. Boom shockers. Boom shockers. What's your guys' favorite car of this channel so far? Is it? I'm curious to know that one, too. I know I always ask you a million questions, but I'm just curious. Do you like the... What's your favorite car? The MR2, GS, or Coupe? Or 13, the 14. Why are you guys watching my videos? Man. Man broski. All right, I'll see you at Monica, sir. I'm actually going to get Wendy's and then go to Mr. Copley's. I completely forgot to get something that... Oh, man. I'm going to forget it, period. How many times am I going to get out of this car, huh? All right. All right, now we're good. Now we're good. i got to change my... Oil on my S14. Good chance I'll forget to do that. I have the oil right here. I will wait till the last second. I need brakes. It's all good. Holla. See you later. They were, we were just chilling. I ate lunch. Just relax. Had a little family meet -point. And then uh, that's it. Ah, oh, my car's already smelling better with that. Guys, I went on Twitch yesterday. It was so much fun. I don't get why all the kids in the world aren't on Twitch. Maybe they are. I don't know. But it's so easy. You literally broadcast your playing, and you don't need to do anything. It's just live. You just drive around. The only thing is, I want to know if I can chat. Like, when I... Is it possible for me to talk to people while I'm on there? So, holla at your boy, son. But never mind. Happy Monday, guys. We love you. Have a wonderful day. Nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here
was the first thing that you opened your eyes to And the last one that you said goodnight to I went home and cried to And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you Glad I got you, that's a blatant fact And every negative thing I said, I swear I take it back